introducing um, Michael Sanderson, a shareholder. Hi, Michael. Yeah, hello again. Um, totally different this time, Mr. Alloway. We'll see how clever you are. Um, this, this goes to um, how things work in banks generally. Uh, Matt Common, I think you know, is the CEO of the uh, CBA. At the recent AGM confirmed, and I quote, we also do create deposits in the system. We expand money supply when we lend money. Banks have, put in the Margaret Thatcher thing, a magic money tree. Please consider the following scenario. <clears throat> Fred Nurk purchases a house from Joe Bloggs. Both bank with BOQ. So the transaction stays within the bank, so stay away from overnight money market and all that sort of stuff to confuse the issue. BOQ extends a mortgage secured by the house and Fred Nurk's personal guarantee. BOQ create a deposit and in doing so expands money supply in order to facilitate the loan to Fred Nurk. Ceteris Parapus, for those who don't understand what that is, all other things being equal. My question is, how does BOQ and by extension other banks justify increasing the interest rate on Fred Nurk's and other mortgagee loans, mortgagee loans, sorry, in line with the cash rate when the cost of funds was zero? Is this profit gouging? Perhaps it's subsidising other products that the magic money tree can't be used for, or both. Is that a question to me, Michael? Yes. Uh, look, I didn't hear a lot of your question. I'll read but it again what if I can, you like. what, that's not, I don't need you to read it again. Right. What I can tell you is that um, we make commercial decisions that are in the interests of our customers. Uh, we make commercial decisions that are in the interests of all of our stakeholders. Um, and clearly we have a cost of funding uh, that we look to get an adequate return on risk on when we lend money. Um, and if interest rates are rising, um, uh, you know, we will obviously consider the customer's position um, and, and look to manage our own return on risk, but also uh, the customer situation. But I'm not sure what your question was, but um, what well, I can I'll, tell I'll you... I'll put it simply for you because yeah. you are dodging the question. Uh, the cost of lending to Fred Nurk was zero because you have the ability to create a deposit in the system at the point of lending. My question is, how do you, BOQ, justify increasing the interest rate in line with the cash rate on a loan that does not incur any borrowing costs, does not in re involve any depositors' deposits? Or is, is Matt Common wrong? You could say Matt Common hasn't got a clue what he's talking about. M Michael, I, I might not be very bright, but I do not understand your question. Um, and I apologise for that. I'm that, very that's... happy to talk to you after the meeting. Uh, but uh, you've lost me completely. Okay, 